Hey everyone, I'm here to give you guys a how-to, a tutorial of how to make your own fringe jeans. So I have these jeans that I actually created myself um, in when I owned my own denim shop and they became like really popular. People really like them and I get compliments about them and I get asked about them all the time. And here is what they look like. And I'm going to show you today based on these jeans here. These are the jeans that I'm wearing in the picture. So these guys here with all the fringe and all the crazy look to it, it's, it's, it's a really fun look. So they're those. And I'm gonna do that on these jeans today. These are kind of my fun, you know, let's like play around and do fun things jeans. So I did some, you know, like distressing, that kind of thing. So today I'm gonna show you how to do this fringe on these jeans. First of all, you need a pair of fabric scissors because denim is not easy to cut. And with a regular pair of scissors, it's just gonna get all eaten up. And what you really do want is its own like, you know, it's, it needs to be a smooth cut so that when it fringes, it's not gonna fall apart on you. So pair of fabric scissors. If you don't have them, they're not that expensive. Um, order them through like Joanne Fabric or somewhere. Um, you don't even have to get like an industrial like this guy. These I just had from my, my shop. Um, but you can get, you know, pretty, pretty good jeans. Um, I mean, uh, scissors for a good price. So here you go. What we're gonna start with is we're gonna take off the ends, okay? Really super easy. Just cut across. Doesn't even matter how close you get to the hem. You just wanna kinda of cut it loose. It'll be a little bit of a, a rougher way as it gets closer to that like circle here. But off and done. And you can repurpose this, believe it or not. You can use it to wrap things, all that kind of stuff. So repurpose everything. I'm repurposing these jeans. You repurpose some jeans of your own, okay? The second thing about um, cutting jeans is you don't want to go too far up or it's going to look weird. Like it's going to be too fringy. It's going to be up on your like, um, you know, in areas that you don't really necessarily want them to be. You want them to be at a certain um, spot closer to the ankle so that it fringes around the ankle. Um, so I would say you probably want to do about two to two and a half. So you're gonna wanna measure two to two and a half inches before you go in, okay? So right there for me is two and a half inches. And then just go wild. Go ahead and do your first cut to that two and a half inches. You don't need to mark it or anything like that. That's not what this is about. This is about just having fun with jeans and making them fun. Um, once you do your initial cut, my suggestion is not to go too close to each other. Give it a good bit more fabric in between. So because when you're washing them and drying them and they get that fun, fringy look like this, it's because they're wider and they're just rolling up, okay? So you wanna keep them wider so that when they start to like distress, and roll up that they don't look too thin or they don't fall apart. You can get my drift. So you did your first cut. So give it, you know, just give it some good room. Don't, you don't have to like worry about it. You know, you just wanna cut, see the strip. You know, that's a good bit of strip. And if you do wanna measure it out, that is approximately half an inch, half an inch in diameter, okay? And just eyeball it because again, this is just fun. It's not supposed to be like, I have to make these perfect because making the perfect is not what we're about here. This is a frayed, like, you know, a frayed hem that, you know, like there's all sorts of different hems out there that people um, wear, like the shark bite, which is really fun. And that's frayed, but it's more of it looks like, um, 
I don't really want to say. So it looks like a shark actually took a bite out of it. It looks like it's, you know, like jaws came up and went at it. And then it frays, but it doesn't fray like a fringe. It frays just around the cut. And that's what happens with this. So when you're cutting it, give it that extra room, like I said, so that it'll stay like a nice size fringe. So, you know, just keep going, have fun with it, enjoy. You know, um, space them however you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just don't space them too close together, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do this for a, a little bit. What's gonna happen is it's not gonna fringe for you right now, obviously. Like if you look at this, it's not fringing automatically. You can see that there's cut to it, but this is why you need it to be a nice, um, un like chewed cut, like a nice straight cut. Because when you wash it, you don't want that chewed up area to get worse. This is just gonna fray a bit, and I'll show you on these. So these have been washed a good many times but you'll see that over time it starts to just rip up and that's why you know they get they start to get thinner and thinner but they look great that way this is after a few washes so that's good this is good this is what you're starting with and that's great this is perfect because what you're going to do after this is you're going to wash and dry them and you do that so that they'll bump up against the wall, you know, like they'll get all banged up and stuff. And they'll curl up because of the water. And then you're gonna put them in the dryer. Yes, you're going to put jeans in the dryer for this because this is all part of the distressing process. So wash them, dry them, take them out, bang them around a little. It's gonna take a little while, just a little while for it to get this way. But if you put them in the dryer, it will actually do this a lot more for you. So go ahead, grab yourself an old pair of jeans that you're not, you know, you haven't been, you haven't worn in a while and you don't know why, but hey, why not just try out something new? Maybe you bought a new pair that's very similar to an old pair. Take that old pair and, you know, do have some fun with them because, you know, denim is a great you know, uh, kind of fabric to use to, to do a bunch of different things. And like I said, the hem, you can actually use this for things. I, I do not have ponytail hair, as you can tell, but you could use this as a ponytail holder. Like seriously, really, really cute in your hair. So that is my tutorial on these frayed hem fringy jeans and I know you guys are it's going to be so easy for you you not even have to like think about it twice just remember nice fabric scissors so that it cuts clean and doesn't eat up and chew the denim and also keep the keep the strips wider and keep the um, cut about two to two and a half inches and you will have your own pair of frayed fringe denim jeans. Have a great rest of the day, guys, and enjoy making your, your jeans.